Once again, we're staying in our modifyingobjects.dwg file, and we're still working on our little hot desking area in our office space. Now, you'll remember that we created our wall here between the entrance hall area and the hot desking area. Now, it may be that you want to create a wall opening for a door there to get in and out of the hot desking area. So we're going to utilize the break and join commands in AutoCAD. Before we do that, zoom in a little bit so that you can see the wall a little bit more clearly. And we're going to go up to the Modify panel in the Home tab on the ribbon, click on the flyout and just pin it open like so. And you can see the two break commands are here. There's break and there's break at point. We're going to utilize break at point first. So it's this one here. So we go to break at point and we're going to select this line of the wall here, select the object, and we're going to come down until we get that midpoint snap there and left click. What we've done there is we've broken that into that object there and that object there. So I'm going to select this line and the lovely thing about lines is they have grips. So I can now click on this grip and as long as I move vertically upwards using my polar tracking, I can actually type in 900, enter, and what I've done is I've moved that lower end of that upper line upwards by 900, giving me a gap for a door of 900 wide, 900 millimeters in this case. I then just hit escape just to deselect that line. Now, here's the thing. How do I do this line? Because this line's much longer and the midpoint's all the way down here somewhere. I use the other break command, this one. I use break and it breaks between two points. So I click on it and come into the drawing area and I select the line. Now, AutoCAD assumes that where I've selected that line is the first break point. So we're not going to do that. We're going to right click and select first point. Now at this point, you wanna make sure that your object snaps, object snap tracking and polar tracking are on. What we do is we hover over this end point and move across. The polar tracking kicks in. When you see the intersection, left click. That's our first break point. We then hover over this end point here. Same process, move to the left. Polar tracking kicks in. When you see the intersection, click again. And what we've done there, utilizing our polar tracking, object snap tracking and object snaps, we've transposed this opening to the other line that represents the other side of the wall. So the benefit we've got there now is a nice 900 wide opening that we can tidy up and perhaps place a door into. Now, I don't know whether you've ever been in this position as a facilities manager or a facilities consultant where the powers that be turn around and say, no, we don't want a door opening there. And you think to yourself, but I've just put a door opening in using the break command. How do I join those back up again? Well, there's a lovely command in AutoCAD called exactly that join. So I can click here on the join command. And as long as they're coplanar, I can select this line and this line. So coplanar, you can see they're both vertical in the same plane. When I press enter, they join together and form the one object. Let's do the same with the other one. So we select this line and this line and we press enter again coplanar, it's formed one line again. So I don't have to worry about those breaks that I've put in. I can convert them back to lines if I want to. Now, bear in mind, they have to be coplanar. So I couldn't do a vertical line here and then a vertical line over here somewhere. They have to be following the same vertical plane. They have to be coplanar. But as you can see there, utilizing the break and the join commands in your AutoCAD drawings allows you to modify your objects quickly and effectively.